Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as I tickle the ivories, I want to bring you in to the You've Already Peaked Game in Podcast. Am I doing a good Ray Charles face? I mean, you're doing a great thing. I just feel like it's doubling down on insensitive, right? I don't know. I think my teeth aren't big enough to really get that, like, that full smile yeah. that only comes when you don't have eyesight. You got to rock. Know? Yeah, you, you got rock. it. Yeah, yeah. You, that's what I'm missing. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. You been watching? You been watching a lot of Jamie Fox or something? How you pick up on that? I just, I just clipped that one scene in Django when he's upside down, his dick is just fucking dangling. I must have missed that part of the Ray Charles movie. <laughs> <laughs> what up? <clears throat> What's up, man? Back at it again. Back at it again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome, welcome to your second introduction to You've Already Picked Gaming Podcast. Featuring your host, Lokar the Man Beast. And also featuring me, Tickle in the Ivories, the Lobster Dust. I wish, I wish we could get these to be like on Spotify or whatever, where it's just audio. <laughs> i have to figure out a way I, maybe we just set up account maybe that's all it is that's all it is yeah it's way easier than youtube and then we just rip the audio off of the off you the just video. take the audio and you just throw it on there Dude, we got a back catalog of almost 75 episodes is it 75 78 is it ooh, 79 ooh, ooh, ooh. 78 or 79 i don't know i don't know i don't know something around like there that. something like that what up though Oh man! Yeah. So what happened to your knee? It. What happened to your knee? <laughs> oh, oh man! Well, I've I've this is this mm -hmm. is the knee that I've always had problems with. I remember for a long, long time. And last time, I was playing softball and I popped it rounding like second base, which has happened like multiple times for like my knee, my quad, stuff like that. It's always the same fucking spot in almost the same scenario. Um. This time, I was good. I was like, I haven't had any like knee pain for like a while, but I had, I don't know, I worked eight of the last 10 days, mm -hmm. nine days, something like that. And I think it's just like when you have, I did have a lot of like patients where it's like they came down on a wheelchair and then like, they just like their legs like buckle and I'm already like in a squatting position, yeah, yeah, yeah. like un underhooked under them, like helping them up and stuff like that. And I think it's a lot of like the, tw the twisting motion, like mm -hmm. trying to get transfer them from either their bed to the wheelchair or their wheelchair to the gurney mm -hmm. and stuff like that. And it's just like somewhere, I think it was like three days ago after the Friday shift, I was like, Oh God, like my knee hurts, but like sometimes it hurts, you know? Yeah. It's just part of getting old. Exactly. I'm pretty sure. Yep. Well, I well, found out no, but <laughs> 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 and then uh, and then I had my Sunday shift and I was like, oh, dude, this is like it almost feels like hot. Yeah. You know? Like yeah. right in the middle. I was like, that's not good. So take a quick peek at it. And I was like, oh, <laughs> you could like if your normal like tendon is supposed to be like like slightly smaller than like a number two pencil. Mm. This is like a piece of dental floss. Yeah. And you can, yeah. you can see like the last little hook of it. Like <laughs> it's going to go. It's going to go. Give it this cool though. Take it off at the fucking thigh. We'll get you a robotic leg. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, <laughs> fuck the really easy surgery where yeah, they just fuck reattach it. Bro. Yeah, I'm, no. I'm, I'm at the point now. Fucking Robocop. I, it's exactly right, man. I don't want, if, if something goes, don't fucking put me through agony of trying to put it back together. Just give me the robotics. What if it's like repo men? Though? Like, just like rewatch that. The opera or the, fucking... like the shitty ass fucking real movie. Uh, well, I watched the opera first. The opera was dope. The, the opera, opera was dope. <laughs> the opera was so bad that it was free on like the Comcast on demand. Oh, I think someone, I think it was like someone was handing me like his mixtape and then a copy of that movie outside of the 7 Eleven. Repo Man! Of 
course you would know about that too. <laughs> I thought I was the only person that ever knew about that because because I saw the like the trailer for the movie. I was like, I'm not gonna go see that in theaters. And then like while flipping through like my shitty apartment on like on demand, I was like, oh, it's here, free, cool. I put it on and I was like, what the fuck is I this? Think I, I, still, like, I think I still have a DVD of that. Like the oh, cover, like of, it's like all red and like would. looks like an eighties horror movie style, and it's like oh, it's a guy in the fucking so suit bad. with a mask. I'm like, oh my yeah. god, it's amazing. It's so bad, it's good. It's great. It's amazing. It's so bad, I watched the entire thing. Yeah, because <laughs> you're like, what's gonna happen next? I I I must have sang that song for fucking. Ever. You know what though? Hmm. For what it's worth, that opera had ten times the story of the remake movie with fucking. Uh, some, yeah, with, what was his name? Oh, what's his name? Fucking AI. Dumbledore. Not Hugh Grant, but he's like basically like new Hugh Grant. New Hugh Grant? Remember Hugh Grant? Wasn't Hugh Grant the one that was like dating Elizabeth Hurley, married married to Elizabeth Hurley, and then had all the controversy after he he, he banged a... You can't say tranny anymore, huh? Transsexual <laughs> yeah, woman, I, man. Yeah. So, so okay, we'll back out. I like I, how that, I like how I, that was like a controversy. I, they got Eddie Murphy canceled. They got fucking Hugh Grant canceled, and now I'm afraid to even say the word. So Hugh Grant, I know <laughs> what you're talking about. Yes, it is. Um, he's in Sky Captain: The World's Tomorrow. Jude Law. Yeah, yeah. God, Jude Law. Damn it. Yes. Yes. God. Um, someone explained that to me. Like, I guess, like, and. Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. Forrest Whitaker. Someone said that it was like, uh, like tranny is offensive or whatever. And it was like a black comedian or whatever. It was like, why is tranny offensive? It's not that bad. And like a trans <laughs> transgender person was like, what if I called you blacky all the time? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> I'm going to do something stupid. I'm going to turn this on. Please don't be light. Oh, there's a light. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. I just, check. It's, I just realized it's really hot in this room. Yeah. Did you guys get rain down there? No, I think it rained. We got well, I don't know. Yes, we got rain. I missed it. I didn't see it, but I got all the humidity afterwards. Oh, it was like hot rain up here for like the last three days. Ugh. Gross. Like Someone, 92 degrees, but dumping rain. I, I saw this thing, it was like it was like if all this hurricane's gonna do is blow this hard, like it needs a it needs to change its name from Hillary to Monica. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it was supposed to be like like there was like severe weather warnings. Like they were like telling people like find elevation. It's supposed to be an entire year's worth of rain in one day. And Which it so did, I, I text did. Trojan, mm -hmm. Lib, Chris down there. I, I everybody in San Diego. I was like, dude, like I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little nervous, and everybody was. Everybody had the same response. They're like, oh, I mean, I got I have beer. I'll just stay inside for yeah, a little bit. Yeah. That's like, exactly right. And my stupid ass is like, I don't know if you've heard, but it's supposed to be an entire year's worth of rain in one day, man. <laughs> you should find elevation. You should I'm like, <laughs> I feel so stupid. I was just worried about him. I mean, I get it. And there was a respect because like it was category five on its way up, but it was like it was gonna hit cat one by the time it hit landfall anyway. So it was like, okay, it's gonna be just a heavy ass storm. But you're also talking to people who live on the fucking beach, who spent a large portion of their time chasing wind and surf, right? <laughs> I guess. Yeah, fair enough. It's like the same it's the same fucking people that are out in Hawaii. They're just like, no, it just means the surf's gonna be up. Bro, it's a hurricane. Yeah, but the surf is up. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, brother, you're not listening. <laughs> yeah. You see those waves, that crest? <laughs> All right, man. Have fun. <sighs> oh, man. Turning. It's uh, It's been busy. It's been busy. I haven't started full turn yet. That starts next week. I have been in full prep mode. And so my days have just been encompassed by just making sure shit goes smoothly. <clears throat> um, I, I've been double downing. My... I've told my boss like I'm I'm on prep mode and then next week is turn so like these from here until basically the end of September I am just unavailable for our other properties for other projects and stuff like that like that is gonna that just has to be you if there's stuff that comes up let me know and I will do my best to just try to help as much as possible for the most part my focus has to be Davis especially since we're taking over all of turn there's a lot of moving parts that go into this so the combination of like the the office itself they're down their their assistant manager quit 
Um, they've lost one of their leasing associates, so they're down two people in office. Um, mm -hmm. it's just chaos because the property manager there, she's, she's doing a fucking phenomenal job of just holding it all together, but you can just see the face every day. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm ready to go. I'm ready to burn this motherfucker to the ground. Uh, the maintenance staff is like really kicked in high gear. They're taking over a bunch of stuff, but again, they're hamstrung by just wait. It's all weight. They have to wait for all this stuff to go on. And then. So for my portion of it, I need very specific things from this property that have, the AGM kind of uh, didn't get handled before he left. And then, so because of that, that's been passed off to the regional manager, but she's in turn in the Midwest and she hasn't <laughs> had time to finish it. So like the really important shit I need to make sure I get turned on, I still don't have. And I'm like, okay, well, I'm one week away right now. I have people showing up probably Monday or Tuesday to start the early turn on like early apartments we have, but I'm still like, very much so in the dark i have no schedule built i have nothing on so like my stress level is starting to like hit here so c accompanying that is my boss who likes to <laughs> do things no do things in the worst possible way he can imagine like, hey, we've got an elderly person in the house that we fucking own who's fallen over a couple times getting in and out of the shower. She bop bopped her head fucking pretty hard. They want to, re to remove the tub and just install a shower just so she can stand or and or sit in there. Cool. Easy. Let's get a shower base. We'll throw it in. No, I want to do tile. Okay, totally fine. Let's pull all the shit out. We'll see what we need. Get the measurements. I'll buy all the stuff. No, I'm going to have like one of our workers remove everything ahead of time. <laughs> okay, that's fine. No problem. All right. He's removed all the stuff. How much stuff do we need? Well, I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? Just measure. It's just fucking square footage. That's all I need. If you measure square footage, I'll take care of the rest of it. Get it all. Okay. Make sure he does the plumbing because it was a tub and it now it has to be a shower. So we have to redo all the plumbing. Well, he's already started putting the floor down. Well, you can't do the fucking floor until you get the plumbing done. And so we're like something easy, like, hey, this is what we need and this is what we need to acquire. Turns into now three days. He ripped the tub out on Friday. It's now Tuesday. It's the job's still not done. We're still trying to figure out plumbing thing because he's already put the floor in and now the floor's in and it doesn't fit the original piping because the piping's too big. So now I'm like, okay, not only is this woman now fucking, like, elderly, has to deal with all this bullshit, I can't imagine they've wheeled her ass upstairs, she's bedridden, upstairs to take a shower in the only bathroom that's left, so is this woman just stinking in this room? I, I'm just like, I don't have time. I don't have time for this. I lost it today in Home Depot. I lost it today. We're trying to like piece together a bunch of places. She's like, I need it right now. I need it right now. I was like, well, I can't, I don't have time to go to a plumbing place. So you can either make do with what you have, or we can go to home Depot and I can fucking hodgepodge some shit together for you. So we're in a home Depot and he is fucking blah, 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 blah. And I'm just like, you are a goddamn fucking idiot. And I'm like going at him. Some guy was like, hey, is there a problem here? I was like, did I fucking talk to you? And he's like, oh, <laughs> ah. <laughs> so, so I uh I've got a lot on my plate. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm trying to like stay positive and like yeah, it's the, a lot of breathing, but I'm like I haven't smoked cigarettes in months. I've like done a really good job of like cutting out mostly all smoking besides like the vape and stuff like that. I never in my life wanted a cigarette more than this week. And I'm sure during turn, I'm buying a pack. I'm going to buy a carton just to have in my car. Fuck it. Who cares? I'll do it. It's all coming back from when I was trying to smoke, stop smoking cigarettes. And all you're doing on my Facebook was posting the pictures of the guy <laughs> with the funnel that had like a thousand cigarettes in it and a blowtorch. <laughs> it's all coming back. <laughs> these aren't doing it they're not they're not hitting that it's not the, it's not the it same. doesn't it doesn't take away that frustration like smoke you know what i mean when they're like you <laughs> puff a cigarette and like you and it like oh All <laughs> way, like, halfway down <laughs> yeah. and the ash is still just sitting yeah, there it just sits on it Looking like you're playing like mahjong in a fucking <laughs> casino just <laughs> like, oh man 
Well, I mean, since you're in a good mood, you want to talk about Diablo? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so annoyed, dude. How can you be annoyed? How can you be annoyed? It's like because you were 100% right. And that's not why I'm annoyed. You're <laughs> right. It's not going to be good until like the fourth season. Yeah. But you'd think they'd like kind of stretch it out and go through the growing pains in like maybe one or two seasons. At this, it might not be good until season eight because they're doing it every. What's it been? A month? Oh, it feels so like a month. Two months per. So it goes out in August or uh, uh, sorry, October, right? That's when the new season's supposed to drop. Is October seventeenth? The seventeenth of October. The game technically launched in June, and the first season didn't start until a month after. So the end of July, right? So we got August, September, okay, so October. So it's three months, roughly, with the launch of the game that should have had the season but didn't. So it's every four months is when they're trying to stick this shit together. Can't you just do like uh, money. Oh, that's, <laughs> I, that's exactly right. Money, 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 money. Especially the fact that the battle pass doesn't doesn't have enough. Like their whole thing. Like, look how many coins you get on the battle pass. It's six, six, six. That's cool. You know, everything on the shop is like eight hundred plus. You can't yeah. buy a single thing on the shop with it. The battle pass alone is fifteen or twenty but or ninety. If you 90. save up your battle passes Did after. You a hundred dollars in battle passes you'll be able to buy one cosmetic did you, item did you see that thing where the amount of money and the amount of cost of the battle pass where if you were to save your money for two seasons you would have enough to buy the next season but then if you did two more seasons after that you would only be two dollars short for the next <laughs> season oh they're evil geniuses <laughs> oh, dude it's so fucked they're evil fucking geniuses it's so fucked dude oh my god it feels so bad <laughs> here's the thing here's the thing uh, uh what's his name <laughs> with judo or whatever that guy's name is the dude that uh was the first <laughs> level 100 hardcore player uh solo uh, um He's been making a shit ton of like Diablo 4 content and he put out a video basically it was a super fucking detailed video of like this is what I think Diablo 4 really needs to become a better game and like just listed it out. And it was a, it was a it was well thought out. It was well prepared and it's definitely from someone who is a content creator and a community member who plays the game extensively and instead of bitching and complaining as much as there was bitching and complaining about it about this is why these things are bad a lot of it was like this is what can happen so mike Ibera, the president of blizzard came and responded to his post and was like i watched this i made sure that said no yeah I, <laughs> I have okay wait hold on so I had this thing he basically was like i had the team watch this a lot of people are seeing this we're seeing this the, and we're taking that input in so it's like if the president of blizzard and to be fair i like mike yabara to be fair to be fair god we haven't done that in a while i know um <laughs> there's a callback i like mike yabara I think he's a cool dude. He raids in WoW. He or not only just raids, but like he plays like Mythic Plus dungeons. Like he's a just a fucking heavy gamer and a heavy grinder and like loves the company and loves the games that he plays. Like for the first week that he got announced as president or whatever, people were like, Where are you, Mike? And he's like, Sorry guys, we had to finish a 20 key. Like I'll I'll be there. <laughs> like shit like that. Like, you know, a legit gamer. And it feels good to like have that kind of person in there. He posted a tweet. A while back, I have it screen capped on my phone and I've responded to every Twitter message that has been just complete bullshit. So it was something he was responding to someone saying something and it, all he said was, do not read everything you or do not believe everything you read online. <laughs> and every time some bullshit has come up with him in it, I've just reposted his tweet. <laughs> just over here. Take that. <laughs> take that. <laughs> oh. The gift that keeps on giving. Overwatch 2, I've been watching a bunch of stuff on Overwatch 2, how bad, like, the 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 people have just been so angry and upset. I feel so bad because, like, we, we're always talking about Blizzard because I feel like it's the games we, like, have in the catalog or whatever. But this whole thing with Diablo... It's, we talk about Blizzard because I know it feels like it's low-hanging fruit, but if it wasn't for their fuckery, it'd probably be our favorite fucking games. I That's the shit part. I swear like, if they didn't shoot themselves in the foot over and over again, we bitch because we wanted to be good. Yeah. <laughs> it's 
Well, someone, uh, someone, they're an easy target and easy talking points, but ultimately, like, if they could just not fuck up, God, can you imagine how good life would be? <laughs> like, well, I, the, I said that in the group chat today. I don't know if you saw it because we were talking about someone. Oh, maybe it was you. You'd mentioned Valheim or something like that. And I was like, you can blame oh, Diablo. Yeah, you can blame Diablo 4 for us no longer playing Valheim. We were fucking mad dash in that game. We paid for yeah. a server. That was like our investment. And we gave it all up to play Diablo. And Diablo turned out to be shit. For <laughs> it was a week and a half. I mean, it was longer than that. We paid and for a paid. month. First patch of success. Oh, oh, you mean Diablo? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, was it a success? Felt like it at the time. Felt like it at the time. The fact that it was like a week and a half before the fucking. Got it. When it you fucking... look, when you look back on it, first off, I've spent so much goddamn money with Blizzard. I am one of the <laughs> biggest fucking problems. I paid for a year sub for WoW that I played two weeks of. I spent a hundred dollars on Diablo because I believe in my soul of souls somewhere someone gives a shit. And now I'm just a jaded motherfucker. I'm jaded. I'm dark. Don't believe everything <laughs> you read on the internet. Thanks, Mike. Mike Yabara has given me something I will take with me to my grave forever and always. <laughs> Just get a screenshot of that and have it like laminated on your gravestone. Yeah, it's exactly right. I ain't never letting you live this down, Mike. But I'm dying, dude. <clears throat> I'm dying for an MMO. Let's talk about it. What are your what are your what are your prospects? I don't know anymore, man. I have to be I have to be respectful of the fact that what was good is no longer good. And what is still out that could relatively be good is fucking ancient, right? Like, you have to think of it like that. Like, there are games like EverQuest that the best EverQuest version is a private server that is 1999's version. You know what I mean? That's 24 oh, years ago, 25 years ago, 24 years ago. I never played EverQuest. <sighs> Was that the bee's knees back then? Dude, it was the bee's knees. Games like City of Heroes, you can't play anymore, right? They're dead. You can find private servers for them, but those games are also aged. They feel aged. Still, mm -hmm. you know, games that hit home still, you know, MMOs where you talk about like Ultima Online or uh, RuneScape, old school RuneScape. Like those fucking feel fun to play. There's a lot of shit involved with them, but they are old and they're tedious and they suck for that type of like hard ass grind like what do i want to play i want to play an mmo oh, that doesn't require me to spend thousands of hours to get to end game that's the most important part because i don't have thousands of hours i already did that with final fantasy 14 if we ever played final fantasy 14 you have to start from the beginning and you have to play all the way to the end and you can't skip anything. You can pay to skip, but you can't skip outside of it. So that's off the table. Final Fantasy XIV, off the table. Okay. I need a game that has good dungeons and good rating. Something that has group content that you can play together, that there's some type of synergy to get a game done. Think of like when we when we play GTFO, there's some type of, it's light, but there's some type of coordination. <laughs> Yeah, I'm the stealth master. Uh huh. It's very stealthy. Mm -hmm. Sean is the panic master. Uh, uh, I don't know. You know, where you go 24 ah, 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 7. But why was mine the stealth master if he was going to be the real panic master? I thought we were doing like fallacy. Sean keeps us cool. Oh, you were being serious. Did you think I was the <laughs> stealth master? <laughs> You have more melee kills than us. Did I? Let's go. Dabbing still a thing? It can be. I mean, we're old enough that 
I think I'm not doing it. I think ironically. Th- I think we're old enough to make this a thing still. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we're old enough to know what what that means. <laughs> oh, <woof. clears throat> okay. Now outside of All that, right. synergy dungeons raids. Okay, and then out- that put on the table. And then outside of that, I need a game that has a decent end game progression where it's not just the rinse repeat but more or less like there's always a goal to grind towards something that like newer gear better specs better stuff things that might take a little bit of time but doesn't like doesn't require you to like put the, go back to the thousands of hours of like retracing your steps and doing a bunch of stuff and getting this one item for this one specific place from this one specific mob that has a 0.1 percent chance to drop right things like that um so what that puts on the table that I keep looking at is work with me here. Work with me here. I've got Star Wars The Old Republic. Okay. Okay. I've one, I just think it's because I love Star Wars. Okay. You can play dark side, you can play light side. There's different classes. So it's kind of a cool storyline. There is some PvP. The end game's a little fun. The only problem with Star Wars right now is it's kind of gone into maintenance mode. So I'm not really sure they've Bioware has, or not Bioware, whoever is doing it, <clears throat> sold it off to another company. So it's kind of like in this weird transition point. So we'll figure out where it is. Elder Scrolls Online. Okay, this is the next one. I think for someone like you or someone that enjoys the Elder Scrolls games, it does the Skyrim multiplayer justice. It is basically Skyrim multiplayer. There's a little bit more... Uh, yeah, tactfulness to it or whatever but the classes the raids the dungeons the gear the things that like you build your character based on what type of weapons you have not so much like how you've uh, what class you've specced it into or whatever um that's kind of my next one the third one i have is dungeons and dragons never winter and I think the reason why I want to do that, I played it before. It's very good MMO, but it still does have a lot of that Dungeons and Dragons feel to it. A lot of the lore, a lot of the things that happen in it. So it feels like it's very similar to like the Baldur's Gate aspect of what we're doing now. Problem is, it's very pay to win. So you have to get around like the monetization system of it and like kind of look at like if you don't spend money, it's just a longer period of time to grind, but you don't have to spend any money. And the last one, and I'm not going to joke about this right now, but if there's reasons for it, I think is World of Warcraft. Now, let me tell you why. Okay, so, so four of them. I think those are those are the main four that I really wanted to focus on. Because anything outside of that is like, who gives a shit? We can play whatever. Um, now, the World of Warcraft, this is what I want to do. Part of me thinks me and you should just go into world of warcraft anyway period it doesn't need to be something that we commit to <clears throat> we need to make a character on moon guard we'll start as alliance and we just head on down to goldshire Inn. okay and let me explain why brad goldshire Inn on moon guard mm-hmm. has on any given day Thousands and thousands of players stuck inside that inn. And all they do all day long is ERP. Erotic role play. (laughs) (laughs) I'm in. You don't even have to say another fucking word. It is fucking wild. It is wild. I did it one day. We got done with Raid and been drinking a little bit. I was like, I'm going to go to Moonguard. <laughs> I've already heard about this. I left Moonguard a changed man. <laughs> I did not understand that those were, those were real people. That just, it did not click in my brain. The shit that was happening. There's like, was a fox people, a fox person with like two ogres. And like, it was like, his like chain slave daddies or whatever and like he'd go around he was a pimp for a bunch of like night elves that like dance on the tables and stuff to collect money and people spend 
gold and real time money to fucking have chats with these people. There are people in this game on Moonguard that make their living. They don't even touch OnlyFans, but they make their living just ERPing sex fanatic shit for these people every single day. What? Yeah. And I'm talking, there is thousands and thousands of dollars that are transferred between people every day on Moonguard. I'm updating now. <laughs> I have to see what this is like. Dude, it is wild. It is wild, Brad. So are we just doing that? I think that, well... Yeah, because are we, are we are we hopping into WoW and we're doing what you want, and then at the end of the night when we can't speak English, we're going to that, and that's how we close out the night. So, well, that that's <laughs> a, just, that's the thing. It sounds dangerous. It sounds dangerous because that's how you get back into WoW. That's how you give Blizzard more money, and that's how you give them more time, right? Like, so do we really <laughs> want to do that, or do like I don't know? Because the thing is, is once I start playing WoW, I'm going to want to play WoW. That's my addiction problem. Once I play WoW. My goal for WoW is always end game content. It's always pushing high end raids. It's always doing that fucking very difficult content. Okay. 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 I'm here. Okay. So uh, I have a total of what, like 10 hours in WoW? At least. Yeah. Maybe. And can I skip past all the stuff that I did before? Or do I have to get through that? Because I remember I was like stuck. I think the first I got was like I just got a fishing pole or some shit like that. Yeah, we we had done. And yeah, you were like the entire time you're like, wow, like it's like it's crazy because the graphics get so much better. Everything gets so much better. But I was stuck in that very beginning stage and I, I just really quickly lost interest. Yeah. How do we get past that? Okay, so they have streamlined the leveling process. They have changed a bunch of stuff. It looks like it's from from one to 60 or whatever is only a few hours now it's not like it's a hard grind getting into what would be the end game content which would put you into things like shadowlands or whatever seems like it's relatively easy to get you from from one to 60 or whatever the fuck the number is um the thing that i don't know is unless you pay money for a skip what exactly that entails See my camera kind of like slowing down? Feels like it's like I'm like catching myself and it looks like I'm just. You know like cool it would be if like it. I did this and then it was like one of those TikTok videos where <laughs> now I'm in full makeup. <laughs> Last Friday night. Should I pause? Yeah, you're just slowing down a little bit. Right? You notice that? Is is it on yours? Okay, hold on. Let's pause real quick. And we're back. And we're back. No technical difficulty. <laughs> Here and there. All right. So you said, so based on if you have to pay to skip, you're not sure how long that would take. I'm not but sure. How... What do you mean by that? So so the idea <clears throat> the idea behind the, the leveling process is depending on where you go, like you would have to spend time to do the level up or whatever it comes out to. And from what I've seen, the newer leveling system is like, three to four hours to like grind out and that's with someone who knows what they're doing in game like by hitting dungeons by doing certain things like just like getting through the process of doing a leveling like seems to get you to at least max level by like three or four hours if that's the case and that's what we can do then we could both do it together and grind out super fast just do the missions together queue up for dungeons when we can and just smash as fast as possible um on the flip side of that, I do know that if we wanted to play the end game content, we would have to buy the expansion pack. Now, I've already bought the end game expansion pack, but with the end game expansion pack, when you purchase it, it comes with a free boost. So it'll make your character boost you to max level. Well, 10 levels before whatever's max level for that expansion. It just brings you up to current max level, and then you can play through the... <clears throat> the only downside with the boost is that you don't really get to learn your character very well. So it can kind of be a hindersome thing. It can kind of like throw you off a little bit because then you get basically thrown into a character that you've never played before with a skill book that's got 90 different skills and you have no idea what any of them do or how to pr produce DPS or how to heal or how to be an actual 
tank. So that can be something that can hold you back if you skipped into it, which ends up adding more time into your playtime overall. Cause then you just sit spending reading guides and trying to figure shit out. But again, I don't know. That's neither here nor there. If we decide to do well, fine. We'll take it as is. If we don't do well, I still think we should go and fucking ERP for a little bit. Okay. Like regardless, regardless, if not, I feel like we should do a, like an insider's fucking, what, what was that? 60 minutes on fucking ERP for the channel. We'll just talk to do people. A 60, a 60 minutes segment. Yeah. I, oh, oh god we can't put that in oh go oh, jesus oh what are you doing oh we'll put just, that down i'll just learn how to fucking blur things really well <laughs> yeah that'll be a fucking test because now that there's in-game chat and in wow when you're in group parties i gotta imagine it is fucking filthy <laughs> i gotta imagine and like uh, the last time i was in moon guard it was well before well before the in-game like voice chat so a lot of it was just conversations between people texting or like through a discord server or something like that oh man i don't know yeah no i mean we'll have to explore that okay so if not wow you said next would probably be elder scrolls online yeah but i think it's because i played it before and i think it's because it's an easy it doesn't require a whole lot of brain power you know what I mean? To play. You just hit missions. You pick up fucking uh, like different items and shit like that. And you just make yourself a, like a, a better character overall. I, I I feel like that is probably the easier of the MMOs to jump into. Outside okay. of that, it's like I think Aaron put one on. I didn't really put this on the list because I, I don't really feel like it's an MMO, but it still does have that like kind of feel. Is Destiny. Destiny 2. It feels more. Is it an MMO? I, I mean, it's, it's got dungeons and There's raids. raids. There's no like, I don't know. I feel like it's a looter shooter. If anything else, I mean, that's what it is. It's a looter shooter. So classified as an MMO. <clears throat> but there are world bosses and world events and a bunch of other things. I mean, is that going to scratch your itch? I no. don't know. I'll say no right now, just based off your reaction to that question. No. Yeah. Sorry, Aaron. I mean, I'd still play it. I haven't played it in a long time. I would still play it, you know? Yeah, I don't I know. I played with Destiny for a while. I heard some raids, but... We're here for MMOs. Here for MMOs. Dungeons and Dragons. Tell me about that one. Neverwinter? It's kind of dope, yeah. dude. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of different like class stuff in it. It's actually pretty easy to play relatively i mean it's on it's so easy to play that it's on like ps4 mm. or still is or xbox or something like that so it's 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 got a console version of it it's got a very cool storyline to it um the character like progression system's a lot of fun gearing up and it's a lot of fun the raids the dungeon stuff like that is a lot of fun it's it's a cool it's a cool experience i think it's it's wild light it feels like you know what I mean? It doesn't require as much like mental fortitude to get your characters like geared out, maxed out. Um, I don't know though. It's, <clears throat> it's different. It's a different feel, but if you're looking for something that has a story to it, that's a little bit more involved that you can just fuck off and do random stuff like quests and things like that. Like it kind of has it. Well, it's still like a, a nice progression system that you don't feel like you're, let or you're 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 like hamstrung in that like open world aspect where it just kind of drops you and it's just like go you know what i mean and then other than that what did i say the other one was i wanted to play mm. knights of the old republic yeah. just because i love star wars and it's so dope running around it's a pretty with... old game though right it's pretty old like i said it's in maintenance they, mode right now they, do they keep adding to it they do Actually, and Star Wars has a really cool thing. If you buy one thing on their their shop, so buy something for five bucks, you get put into what's called a, like a legacy account or whatever, and then you basically get all access to all of their like expansions and shit like that. So, 
At least that's the way it used to be. I'm, I'm sure that's how it is still to this day. It was very much so like a, you don't have to do too much to be able to play the entirety of the game. And um, having a game where it's like, you're literally like running around with lightsabers and shit like that. It feels, I don't know. Did you ever play Knights of the Little Republic? Mm. Like Kodor was a fucking part of my I life. I feel like I I feel like I know I did with like Raven and everything. And like... no, I didn't. No, you never played Kodo. It was online only, huh? Was no. It? Okay, maybe I did. I think Kodar one and two may have been on the original Xbox. I know for sure Kodar yeah. two was on the original Xbox. I think Kodar one might have been PC only. I can't remember. Don't quote me on that one. <clears throat> I played them on PC. Um, I think there was one on Xbox, but I feel like it was online only, and I bought it. And like it needed like an Xbox Live thing, and out at my mom's house, it I didn't have internet like Ooh, that. Interesting. I mean, so it I never had it. Might so have been, it might have been Old Republic that. when it came out. Yeah, it was, it was a long, long time. Original ago. Xbox or Xbox 360? Mm, I think 360. I don't know. I think 360. And remember, Xbox used to have that thing like online only for certain games. It'd be right on the top of like their header, above like the game art on the box. Interesting. I don't know. I swear to God, I'm gonna go crazy. I don't remember Kodor. I remember Kodor. I don't remember Kodor ever. I don't. I don't even think it's on console now. Or no, no, no. Sorry, Old, Old Republic, Swordor. I don't remember that being on console. I could be wrong though. <clears throat> Definitely not 360 though. I think a game came out well after 360. Nice, the old Republic too, right there. But that wasn't That's an online scary. only. That was just a single player game. Hold on, hold on. Oh, it says live enabled. Interesting. Uh, <clears throat> uh, I don't know then. I don't know. You might be right. It might be. It may, might be corner two. I don't know. Those, that that storyline of Star Wars has always been my my all time favorite. Like I I love just the old Republic stuff and just like seeing where the Jedi and like everything was and like it, the olden time before we got the movies and before the, even the prequels in itself. Those storylines were just so fucking fun. Sworder is a, a, so I played a lot of Sworder. I think even me and Sean may have played at some point. I remember bringing in my ma max level character to play it. I had played like every expansion up from the I think uh, the last two I haven't touched. It's just a fun game to just be a fucking Sith running around killing people. I don't know if it's in the alley, but it's also free to play, so you don't have to spend money on it. You don't have to do anything. You get everything. Like I said, when it gets to the expansion point of it, it's like, oh, yeah, that sucks. But if you spend five bucks on the game, you get everything. So it's hard to, like, pass that up to, like, value price. I don't know, man. I Gun need something. Go. Huh? Go to your head. Go. ERP. I mean, World of Warcraft. I don't want to... Oh. I want to go to ERP. I just want to go to ERP. I just want to see the wild shit that's still happening you know, in that game. Okay. Mm. Yeah, we're going to go to ERP. What's going to happen once we go to ERP, though? I don't know. Here's the thing. My sub, my 12-month my sub that I paid for ends in December. How much is a 12-month sub? It was like... Almost two. It's like two hundred dollars. <laughs> so like that. I don't remember what it was. It was some fucking ridiculous price. One one month is fifteen dollars. One month is fifteen dollars. You didn't have to spend the twelve months. <laughs> you don't have to. Don't do it because it's a bad investment. It was a bad investment. The only reason I bought it was because it had a bunch of mounts in it and shit like that. And Pad talked me into it. He was like, I'm going to do it. And I was like, that's a great investment. One Let's go. One month is $15. Yes. So one year's worth of $15. So you paid over what one year of paying just 
by the month would be. I don't remember the cost. I think it was. I think it was upwards. Ten months would be one hundred and fifty. Fifty plus two extra months would be one hundred and eighty. So you paid an extra twenty dollars. No, then it had to be. It was probably. It was probably like one sixty, one fifty. Then. Okay. That's probably more realistic. I don't remember. I remember it was a large portion, but it wasn't just that. I paid twelve months sub and then bought the expansion. The collector's edition expansion, which was like eighty dollars. <laughs> so... Oh, I remember this. You're like, <laughs> you're like, I'm fucking done. Except I just spent almost four hundred dollars on it, so I'm not like completely done. But and then I played two months and was like, this is whack. <laughs> MMOs are a dangerous, slippery slope, man. They're really, really not the business. The time investment, the money investment, you have to really care and love for these games to want to play them. And Blizzard has the best track record on the market for being terrible. <laughs> so, you know, it's like if you spend money on it, you end up fucking yourself over in the end. But with a brand new account like yours is, we can get to level 20 without spending a dime on a sub. And you don't need to be, you can be level one to go ERP. See what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? It sounds better and better every day. <sighs> Cause outside of that, I I have I have no desire to play any games at all. So we've got Armor Core coming up at the end of this month. Next week. Armor Core comes out 24th, right? Next week. Yeah. I'm gonna be in turn. I'm Two not gonna days. Oh yeah, two days, yeah. I'm going to be in turn. I'm not going to have time to fucking play it. But it's a single player game. So I can literally play it whenever. There is no multiplayer uh, in that game. It is completely single player. That's Yeah. Man. Starfield comes out next month. A completely single player experience. There's no multiplayer in that game. So like the games that are coming out that look awesome are going to be in a situation where we're not going to play games together. You know, there's not much out there right now that is encompassing the multiplayer aspect, except for November when Call of Duty comes out. Well, I know, no, but the thing is, is like, what else is there? I'll buy a year subscription to WoW before I buy the new Call of Duty. Try me. That's what we do from here on out. We just give up and we just start raiding them wow. It's still giving them money, though. Ooh. Telling you, don't do that. Don't do that. That's a bad choice. Trevor, Trevor, make a decision. Trevor, make a decision. I can't. It's too early. I got to think this out. I Okay, regardless, we're ERPing. We're ERPing. We're going yeah, we're to we're going to Moon, Moonguard. That's it. There's no getting around that. We'll be in Moonguard. That's fine. All the rest of it, though, I don't know. Plus, Nightingale just got its release date. How's that Q3, baby? That hurt. That yeah. fucking... I had a shit day at work, and that was the worst part of my day. Yeah, dude. <laughs> when you said that, I was like, no. You said Nightingale. I looked it up, and I was like, oh, they released a fucking release date trailer? February 22nd. Oh. You sons of bitches. That would hurt so bad. Yeah. What are you gonna do though? You know? We I mean, want we it, want it to be good, so sit. It hurt, but like I guess I, I have been saying like I'd rather them take their time. I just It looks good though. Yeah. That that trailer looks good. It really does. But it also means my question is that how how bad was it from these plast uh past two play tests that they did that they had to push it out to February? You know what I mean? Like, how bad was it that you had to go from, like, now to February? Yeah. And if, like, you had it had to push it that far out when you were planning for Q3, you can't even get into Q4. You got to push it to Q1. Yeah. Is it really good or is it just meh? I don't know. They, they could have found, found, found something completely like they had to take it all back or maybe as a situation where 
somebody couldn't reload a gun and it was they had to completely just like start from scratch they had to take it back six patches and work their way back to fucking hell man i don't know i, I want it to come out right so i guess that's what you got to do right i guess i guess i don't know we're talking we're talking game development i don't know what i'm doing i have never developed a game before I'm hoping I'm hoping people people just know what they're doing and they're gonna take care of it for us. That's all that's all I'm asking. Just give me something good to play. But that also means we're banking on fucking Nightingale. Nightingale doesn't show up until fucking February. What are we doing between now and February? Good neighbor, bad neighbor. I mean, yes, obviously. Season two. We're doing we're doing death matches. I've been I've been building I've been building the PvP arena for us. I've been trying to put that all together. I'm trying to get us something. Is work. it a seven v seven? I would like to have. Or so are you doing like a the, just a one v one death. The match? footprint is big. I've got a big footprint, so I'm hoping I can put this together relatively well enough within the next month that if we decided to, if our entire group came together and we had enough people to five v five, even that the map would be big enough for a 5v5. But it is not fast in building this shit by any means necessary. It is a fucking slow process. Because I gotta go in and do all the individual, like, I have to build the arena first, and then I have to add everything in it. And all I'm doing right now is just putting the footprint down. So What if... Okay, hit me. And I don't know how easy it'd be, but what if we just um, got on the interwebs and we found the base layout to like a golden eye map, you know, like a, cause they're just, they're just real rudimentary blocks and stuff like that. Right. To give you uh, a little feel like, you know, like, like the N64, all s real simple. I mean, is that what you want? You want to just recreate down. a map in seven days? <clears throat> Cause I, I don't feel like I'm, I mean I mean it'd be a good building block. I mean I don't start thing. I'm not struggling with building. I feel like my last level was okay. Okay, take it easy, princess. I was just God damn, dude. Without ideas. I mean I don't know. The, the The problem I have is I don't know how to bring that like a map thing in as a prefab into the game. Like there's a prefab editor generator that you can use but i don't know how to save those prefabs within the generator to then implement them into a game so i don't know if i'm just missing something plus between alpha 19 when the editor stuff was all and where it is in alpha 21 they've like removed and added some shit so it's like it's all new it's just like a learning process i haven't fucked around with editing this much in alpha 21 so now i'm also finding that it's like like kind of difficult to figure shit out so I'm, I'm that's the process i'm working on right now but again i i think i have a, a tall enough structure and a wide enough footprint that i can just put it together it'll take me some time i'm doing it in my off time in between recording seven days of shop and some other things editing all the rest of the stuff i'm at a at a point it was like when i get some free time i just go in and just start just editing just dicking around just putting it down seeing if it works and like just kind of play testing it a little bit and seeing how the the map works i've basically got walls and a couple like structures down so you know it'll it'll take some time it's not coming out anytime soon okay but we got to figure out something between now and then now in february now in the end of the year we got to play something man i'm i'm a social butterfly i'm a peacock you got to let me spread my wings <laughs> ERP, I guess. We can make money doing this. <laughs> you understand this, Brad? We can make real fucking money. <laughs> you fucking like that, don't you? I'm gonna send you I'm gonna send you some wild ass shit that I've seen from <laughs> Moonguard just to prep you on this. I say, well, fuck well, that. I don't want to be prepped. Fuck it. Let's end the podcast right now. I will update WoW. We'll go into Moonguard right now. I can't tonight. <laughs> I can't. I don't know if I'm a mentally prepared. No. 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 You're never mentally prepared. I was hammered and I left sober. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh. Uh, hey, what the fuck happened to your series? That's why I can't tonight. Oh, you got to. Sh- well, you never put the trailer out. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you were going to launch it on the weekend. I'm launching it right now. You're launching the trailer right now? Launch it for tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. How how close are you? Is it almost done? Yeah. It's well, done? I, I No, it's not done. Oh. <clears throat> I still have to do about half of the fucking voiceover. But, like, it's there. I, I was literally just going to finish the voiceover. I, I have one track that I'm, like, looping through the background. And then just adding the outro and then I'm there. Okay, well why don't okay, we'll launch the trailer for tomorrow. Right? We'll put the we'll put the we'll, <laughs> everybody's seeing this on Friday, so it's already been out. Um <laughs> 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 put, <laughs> put the trailer out for Wednesday. This past Wednesday. Um since I have turned stuff, launch it for next Wednesday, the thirtieth. Because I'm going to be slammed. I'll get a seven days out on Monday. I'll finish and edit for seven days for tomorrow and Monday. Oh, that looked like you were going to vomit. That was a, a burp that like, oh, yeah. came from your toes. Yeah. Um, But yeah, so put the trailer out for tomorrow. I'll get a, I'll get a seven days out for tomorrow. I have one more seven days ready to roll for Monday. I'll put a Monday one out and then just finish your edit. I've been so determined because I had that huge stupid fuck up. Uh, did I tell you what it was too? I felt space so bar? dumb. Your space bar? I'm literally like, I'm over here. I'm clicking start record and then I'm turning and hitting space to play on this computer screen. I'm like, what the, f-? Uh, and so I click in there. And I'm wondering why it's only like 10 seconds. It's because I'm literally going like this and just start, stop, start, stop, start, stop. <laughs> the first one, the first one, uh-huh. I did like one, like through take, like just all the way through. And I was like, that, that wasn't very good. So I didn't start or stop. I just like went back to the beginning. And then I was doing like multiple takes for this, multiple takes for this and right. just going through. Uh huh. And I just did one of these. and I was like, no, <laughs> <laughs> when i say that took all of the fucking wind out of my sails <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah. like just like shatters your concentration yeah yeah so i've been i i, I was gonna literally stay up like all night just finishing it yeah don't don't kill yourself over fucking one video do it for wednesday of next week or this upcoming wednesday you know what i mean Put the trailer out this past Wednesday. I'll get a seven days out. I'll get a seven days from Monday ready to roll. Fucking pump it for Wednesday. Help me. Help me because during turn, I'm just not going to have fucking free time for two weeks. So ERP is what you're saying tonight. Oh. If you don't have to edit, we are going to ERP. We're ending this now and I'm fucking updating WoW. Tell Sean to get off fucking whatever he's on. <laughs> dick. All right, ladies and gents, well, we're going to go do some weird stuff. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.